Greetings everybody, my name is Dungan, and this is the first stop on my Marvel Cinematic Universe review tour, and this movie is Iron Man. So Iron Man was the first MCU movie released all the way back in 2008, but all the way back then I wasn't a big Marvel fan at all. Actually, I didn't even see the movie in theaters. The first movie I saw in theaters was Iron Man 2, then the next one was, even, was all the way up to Thor Ragnarok, I didn't even see anything in between that in theaters. It's a whole seven year gap. Um, and it was Ragnarok that made me the Marvel fan I am today through and through. And that was a movie that made me obsessed since. But back to the point though, back to Iron Man 1. I do not remember the first time I actually saw this movie. Though I would bet that was not in 2008. Um, so Iron Man though, despite that, is one of my favorite MC movies overall. And deals with one of my favorite characters, Tony Stark. And Tony's character development during this movie, and really all the movies that Robert Downey Jr. is a part of, is the main reason why I root for the, him. He starts this movie, though, with a level of narcissism narcissism that is laid very thick, um, although it's a sort of narcissism that I don't actually have a problem with. Um, it is full-blown at the beginning, um, but I noticed that he really never seems to bring down those around him. With the exception of maybe Dummy, his robot <laughs> that he built in community, or like in his college days, or, some, or like as a kid. Um, I forget the uh, when, but yeah, he only seems to bring down the, a robot. Um, side, besides the other characters, um, jumping ahead, comparing to like Doctor Strange, for instance, Doctor Strange directly insults um, Dr. Palmer in the second lowest bone you hold MCU, in my opinion, but side by side, Tony Stark throughout this movie consistently praises and compliments Pepper, Pot Pepper Potts from the very beginning, and I really um, appreciated that this this rewatch um, this time. But as uh, all character development goes, um, it's very important to receive a slice of humble pie, and Tony Stark sees a very large one in this movie. But I really like how in this movie that is a very believable one too, and his character change. Was very natural. Um, the cave scenes are the most important scenes in this movie, and probably some of the most important scenes in the whole MCU. Um, definitely Tony Stark's most defining moments, I would say. And this is where my favorite line in this movie takes place. Jump into that point. My favorite line. Let's hit play. Uh, thank you for saving me, Tony Stark says, and Yinsen replies, don't waste it, don't waste your life with his last words. The second part is a very well-known line by now. Um, Yinsen's last words are clear motivation for Tony for the next 10 years, much less this single movie. But that first part, Tony's part, was Tony thanking Yinsen for saving him, which has the obvious physical meaning of being the doctor that gave Tony his first iron heart, but it also um, that clings to like the emotional motivational meaning too of waking Tony up from his naivete and creating or saving his life's mission from his re reckless abandon and his narcissism from the beginning shots of the movie. So that's why it's my favorite line. Um, my favorite shot of the whole movie also comes from the cave scene. Um, and it's when Tony is first decked up in the Mark One. It's the first time we re we see it, like revealed in action, um, right um, at that first door. Um, the Mark Two and the Mark Three are also revealed in this movie. And there's those um, dress up the um, suit up scenes with all the mechanicalness of those, and the way they move is amazing as well. But I'm still gonna give the best shot to the very first Mark One as it really is the beginning of something epic. Um, but before I get to my actual placement in the rating system, I want to mention two last things that I think make this movie amazing. Um, the first is how so the MC was set up to meant to be more like a side-by-side -side with the regular world as it spins it. The world of saving is the world that we live in. So the MCU's job um, at the beginning and still today, I'd say, was to make a convincing jump from the regular, from us, that we know, into the superhero realm that doesn't exist. So I feel like if the MCU started with Thor, 
a magic demigod gods from another world or hulk um or other characters that the mc might not that the if it started with those characters the mcu i feel like might not have put in the effort to really ground it in our reality quote unquote um it might have had some like clowny origins with um as a theme throughout the whole universe like i don't know um jack nicholson dropping in that green goop to become the joker instead of a keith ledger's joker which is more in the realm of reality as well just a crazy madman with a knife in his mouth for some reason for hints and reasons but um and it actually came out in 2008 as well so i guess our, that year was a year of quote-unquote realistic superhero movies but sticking with iron man instead of thor or hulk um has just had that more natural grounds of realism which is the simple and great first step leading up towards infinity stones and things later down the line um but my other special note about this movie is how well this movie has aged um aside from that single the single line inside the fun v at the very beginning this movie fits in 2019 just as well as it fits in 2008 which i think can't go unsaid i think it's amazing that i could still do that even the cgi in this movie has no spotty parts or any parts that really show the age of this movie i think it just stands up just as well today as it did then um and of course and i'll end my review with one last funny note um i did say that dr strange had the second biggest burn in or burn in the whole series but pepper Potts in this movie has the best burn in the mcu to date and it takes place within that first 10 to 15 minutes of this movie and it is her line to the reporter at the beginning of the movie um when uh, taking out the trash line of course um so on to the rating system um it's going to be really quick rating talk today because it is the only the first one on the whole list but i'm going to put it very solidly in the s tier movies um, next to the other four that i haven't revealed that i won't reveal um and i can't reveal compared to anything else in the s tier or any other tier and so at the very least i review the incredible hulk which is the next up movie in the mcu for me so since i can't do that yet thank you for listening to my view of iron man today and i hope you're excited as i am for the rest of this series thank you <laughs>